up, kids? My name is Kuya Pao. And I'm here to continue the story, Eagles Don't Fly, They Soar, The Adventures of Billy Big Toes, written by Bo Sanchez. So, are you ready? Because I know I am. Alright, here we go. Chapter 2, A Giant Surprise. In a few seconds, little cracks appeared on all the eggs. And soon after, all the eggs broke open one by one. And three tiny yellow chicks were walking around on their shaky legs. After a few seconds, the bigger egg also broke open. And the eaglet peeked out serving the strange world around him. He was taller, larger, and had bigger feet than all the other creatures around him. His color was gray instead of yellow, but they certainly looked alike. Their bodies were covered with tiny feathers were accurately called down and all had pointed beaks on their faces. They were brothers and sisters, all right? Nancy, the mother hen, sensing that her eggs had hatched, came running down to her nest. She cried tears of joy as she saw four chicks looking at her, but gasped in shock when she saw the strange one in the middle. Gosh, he was a giant! Wait a minute, she thought to herself, looking at the broken shells. Didn't she just have three eggs in her nest? Where did the fourth one come from? From what planet did this alien come from? Mars? Jupiter? From another parallel universe where all chicks look absolutely weird? But... Her motherly love took over. She closed her eyes, said a prayer, and covered all four children under her wings. She caressed them one by one and thanked God for each of them, including her adopted child. And she started calling them by name. Let me see your Betty. And your Bobby and your Bingo. And she paused, looking at the huge feet underneath her giant child. She said, And your Billy, Billy Big Toes. <laughs> In the meantime, far up the mountain cliff, Beth returned to her nest. And to her sheer terror, her nest was empty. My egg! My precious egg! She squealed. Rage and terror filled her eyes. With intense panic, she searched her nest, beneath her nest, behind her nest, all around her nest. She flew in circles in the surrounding territory. For the next days and nights, she hovered over every square meter of the mountain. She vowed to herself never to stop looking until she found her missing child. Her thoughts were filled with dread. Has he been eaten? Would she ever see her eaglet alive? Meanwhile, hundreds of meters below, another search was going on. Fox was looking for his lunch. Where is my egg? He scowled. Boy, was he hungry and angry. Unknown to the eagle and the fox, the eaglet was safe in the valley, learning the ways of chickenhood. Billy Big Toes pecked on seeds, even if he felt they were yucky. He pulled worms on the ground, no matter if they were icky and slimy. He munched on corn, 
even if this gave him gas. He wobbled on his claws even if it grew longer and longer by the day. And he cackled like any ordinary chicken. Gosh, he acted absolutely hilarious. Think of an elephant lying down on your lap, purring like a pussycat, and saying, Can I sit down on your lap? But despite this, Billy Big Toes felt happy. Well, most of the time. Well, that's all we have for today. Tune in next time as we continue the story of Eagles Don't Fly, They Soar, The Adventures of Billy Big Toes. Once again, my name is Kuya Pao. Bye! This week's saint, St. Francis of Assisi. Hi kids, I'm Anne-Marie and I will tell you the story of our saint for this week, St. Francis of Assisi. Just like all saints, St. Francis of Assisi was not born a saint. In fact, he was born to a wealthy family a long time ago in 1182 in Assisi, Italy. Because his father was a rich businessman, Francis had a life of parties with young men and women his age that left very little time for God. When he turned 20, Francis became a soldier during the war between a city and Perugia. Sadly, he was hurt and he became a prisoner of the enemy. He became very sick while he was in prison and finally, his father helped rescue him from prison. This was the time Francis began to change and he no longer wanted to fight in the war, but instead, he wanted to help bring peace and justice in their land. Then one night, Francis heard a mysterious voice ask him, Who do you think can best reward you, the master or the servant? And Francis answered, The master. From that time, Francis continued to become a better person. While riding his horse one day, Francis saw a leper, a sick person with boils and wounds all over his face and body. Instead of running away, Francis got off his horse and embraced the leper. He became then the charismatic penitent, a person who was very, very sorry for all the wrong things he had done. St. Francis died and joined God in heaven in 1226 when he was 44 years old. So that we can listen and understand well. You should do this before you go to school.